Welcome back to CBS News, Detroit at noon. One thing is for sure, day by day, we are all getting older. And as that happens, our loved ones may need extra help if they can't care for themselves. But there are things you can do right now to prepare just in case your loved one needs it. We're joined by attorney and author Danielle Mayoris. Danielle, thanks so much for being with us this Thank afternoon. Thank you for having we me. We appreciate it. Tough topic. It gets a lot of people a little emotional thinking about maybe yeah. mom, dad, a grandparent, a sibling needing that help. What does long, long term care mean? It can mean a variety of things, but basically it's extensive care. So it could be a nursing home, home care assisted living, and it really can vary from someone who has cognitive issues like Alzheimer's to someone who has physical issues because of a, a stroke or a, an accident. Let's elaborate a little bit more on who needs it. So you, you listed a couple circumstances there probably not your average situation. You know, what's crazy is you and I are probably going to need it. Okay. All of us are going, I, I'm, the yeah. statistics show seven out of 10 of us are actually going to need long-term care once we reach the age of 65, 70% of us. And so a lot of times we think of it as someone who's mom or dad or grandparent, but unfortunately in our office, we see people in their thirties who have Alzheimer's dementia or in their twenties who get in a car accident. So it really doesn't discriminate based on age. Okay, well that certainly puts things into perspective. It normalizes it first of all, mm -hmm. and second of all, kind of prepares all of us, like this needs to be on your radar, yeah. this is something you wanna think about, plan for. What are the costs involved? Because when you talk about this topic, I mean, sometimes you, you see dollar signs, it can be pricey. Yes, and a lot of people don't realize how big those dollar signs are. Right now, the average cost of a nursing home care in Michigan is 130,000 a year. Yeah. And that's the average. So we have a lot of facilities that are going to be much more than that. And if we're looking at home care, we're looking at hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. So it's definitely sticker shock and a lot of families aren't prepared for that, especially if there's a spouse who needs long-term care in a facility and another spouse who's living in the community because their expenses are just exorbitant. Okay, so how can you pay? There are a variety of options that people have. One, of course, is to self-insure. So if we're really lucky, we have enough dollars to pay for it on our own. But something else I recommend for everyone I come into contact with is long-term care insurance. It's a specific insurance that can help either pay or defray the cost of care. And then there's something else. If you can't qualify for the insurance or it's too late, there's Medicaid for individuals who have limited assets, and that's a government program that pays for the care. But then the last option I think is the most unique and a lot of people don't realize, which is something called long-term care planning or Medicaid planning, which is the ability to work with an elder law attorney so you preserve and protect your assets while qualifying for government benefits. It's a lot. It's a lot it's of information. Lot. You want to make sure you're doing it right, that you're not overlooking any of these resources that may be available to you. Who should you go to for the difficult planning? It's great to have a team of people. And really the first person on the team, I would say the quarterback would be the elder law attorney. That person is someone who really needs to specialize in this area and not dabble in it because it is a very complicated area of the law. The other piece of the puzzle I like to have is the care manager. This is the person who's going to assess care for your loved one, make sure they're getting the best quality of care and they're at a good facility. And then to round out the team, the financial advisor and CPA is always good to have. Perfect, Danielle Mayores, thank you so much. You, you, you have such a ability and a gift to take these really daunting, overwhelming tasks on our to-do list and simplify them, make them feel manageable. We thank you so it. much, Rochelle. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.